Yes, we do have still bad news out there. Sobering moment in the House of Commons during the debate over a Mississauga area, MP, area MP's motion to condemn Islamophobia in Canada. Ikra Khalid reading out some of the death threats and racial slurs she's received over the motion. No need to debate her. Simply remind her that she is merely a woman and she needs to sit the blank down and shut the blank up. Kill her and be done with it. I'm not going to help them shoot you. I'm going to be there to film you on the ground crying. Why don't you get out of my country? You're a disgusting piece of trash and you are definitely not wanted here by the majority of actual Canadians. Khalid says she's comment. received more than 50,000 emails since Motion 103 was tabled back in December, many with hateful messages. Uh, the motion condemns Most Islamophobia and all forms of systemic racism and religious discrimination. Khalid read some of her hate mail as MPs debated an opposition motion that mirrors M103 but does not include Islamophobia. Instead, it references Canada's six main faiths. The vote on the Conservatives' motion is expected next week. M103 itself won't come up for a vote in the Commons until April. Wow. Unbelievable. Yep. Unbelievable. Well, Donald Trump's first solo news conference as president was a wild one, to say the least, touching on a wide range of issues, well beyond his expected Labor Secretary pick announcement. That's all it was for. Trump touting his achievements, denying connections to Russia, slamming the media once again, and, and then some. I just want to let you know, I inherited a mess. This administration is running like a fine-tuned machine. Haven't made a phone call to Russia in years. Don't speak to people from Russia. Not that I wouldn't. I, I just want to ask you, sir. I'm changing it from fake news, though. D doesn't that under Very fake news. I yeah. know, but aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Uh, near the end of his more than uh, one hour rambling talk, the president launched into a very bizarre exchange with April Ryan, an African American reporter, asking if she would arrange for him to meet with the Congressional Black Caucus. Listen to this. Are you going to include the CBC, Mr. President, in your conversations with your, your urban agenda, your inner city agenda, as well as... Am I going to include Are who? you going to include the Congressional Black Caucus and the Congressional Well, Hispanic I would. Caucus, I tell you what. Do you want to well set up the, the meeting? CBC. Do you want to set up the meeting? No, no, no. I'm, Are they I'm, friends I'm, of I'm yours? I'm just a reporter. No, get a, set up the I meeting. I know some of them, but I'm sure Let's they're Let's go set up right a now. meeting. I would love to meet with the Black Caucus. I think it's great, the Congressional Black Caucus. I think it's great. As for policy, Trump revealed plans to roll out a new executive order on immigration next week after, of course, his travel ban barring visitors from seven Muslim-majority countries was suspended by a federal court, by a federal court decision that was upheld on appeal. Now, Trump's news conference giving the late-night shows plenty of fodder last night. But it seemed like he kept wanting to always bring it back to this. I know how good everybody's ratings are right now. Your ratings aren't as good as some of the other people. The good news is he doesn't have good ratings. Yeah, The Bachelor also gets great ratings. That doesn't mean <laughs> Nick should be president. You know what I'm saying? This, I thought, was the most interesting thing the president said tonight. The leaks are absolutely real. The, the news is fake. <laughs> All right, the leaks are real, but the news... News is fake. The toupee is real, but the hair is fake. It doesn't make sense. He started off by defending the rough start his administration has had by immediately attacking America's true enemy, anybody but him. To be honest, I inherited a mess. It's a mess. No, you inherited a fortune. We elected a mess. And Trump's choice for his new national security advisor has turned down the job offer. According to the White House, retired Vice Admiral Robert Harward said no for family and financial reasons. But there are reports the sticking point was that Harward wanted to bring in his own team. The position opened up earlier this week after Michael Flynn resigned for misleading the vice president over his talks with Russia before the presidential inauguration. All right, so you're thinking of some stuff now? Yeah, I, I have one. I don't want to spoil okay, it, though. All right, we have so one already. Good news only from Tammy for the rest of the uh, morning. We'll see what uh, happens coming up at 7 o'clock when we get her first live update. Uh, it is uh, eight minutes after 6 o'clock, an update on your forecast and the traffic picture coming up on Breakfast Television.